All right. We are going into the house. Well, into the theater. Captain. Captain, any news on Sakura? She's not back yet, but she will be. Don't you worry about it. I see. Well, that's fine. To be honest, I wasn't too worried to begin with. Sakura is a strong girl with a strong mind. She hits low points once in a while, but she never stops pushing until she's past them. For all our practice sessions together, I've had plenty of time to observe her. I'm sure she will be there tomorrow. She's my apprentice after all, and if she never shows, she knows she'd be letting me down. <laughs> She's lucky to have two excellent mentors. Let's give her the time she needs. She'll come around. Cool. Oh no, my battery's low. So much for trying to get some rest. Got too much to think about, I guess. At any rate, I'm wide awake now. Hanging out in the courtyard. You want to come join me? Maybe talk about some stuff? She's in the courtyard, huh? Wonder what she wants to talk about. Who's in here? Archives. Let's see. Oh. Check in on everyone. Let's see. Claris, what are you still doing up? Come, Emma. Tomorrow's a big day. You should really get some rest. Yes, however, I thought perhaps I'd find a nice book for Sakura. One that might cheer her up. Ah, oh, Claris, that's so thoughtful. Still no sign of Sakura. I was hoping she'd be back by now. Getting worried? Of course I am. Not that I don't believe she'll return. Really? I can just tell by looking at you. You were honest with her, so that's all. So all we can do now is wait, right? Uh, well, I followed your advice. I told her everything. Full disclosure. That's why I know, without a doubt, Sakura's gonna come back to us. Right. Heh. <laughs> I feel like I can read again. Now that I don't have to worry about her. I can't quite shake the anxiety, but I know Sakura will surely be back. So, let's win tomorrow. Tomorrow's match as a team. Cool. Let's see, who's next? I guess... Uh... Small child. She's in the kitchen. Or, not in the kitchen, but in the, uh... Oh, this is that, like... We're actually... Where, what is, oh, she's on the, on the balcony around the... I forgot we're on the second floor. Yeah, she's gonna be over there. Let's go say hi to her. Isn't it late? Isn't it a little late to be wandering around, Sage Row? Sakura isn't back yet. I thought it'd be good to check in on everyone. Tomorrow's a big day after all. Don't worry, everything will work out. Really? How could you be so sure? Because, Sage Row, you believe in her. That she'll come back, don't you? Of course, there's no way she wouldn't. Then, that's how I know. You believe in her, and I believe in you. Huh, <laughs> well, thanks, and I thought I was supposed to be the one cheering you up. But still, if there's anything on your mind, or if you ever need help, some remember that you can always come to me. You would do anything for me? Uh, well, of course. Then, come see me in my room later. Uh, okay. Weird. Oh! This time, we're prepared a special crossover with the Shanghai Review. Your next opponent will be the Burning Chef Xiaolong. Crossover, and I'll give it a try when I have some spare time. I, oh, I haven't done any Koi Koi since the original. Um, I'll probably do that off screen, because I didn't know what was going on originally, and I still don't know how to play that. I don't. Th I think I only did it when it made me, and not since. Um, and not because I didn't want to, or like not because I didn't like it, but just because I literally knew I didn't know what was going on. What's up? Let's buy, buy some bromides. Um, I guess we're buying. Oh no! Cancel. I thought that said owned. Let's buy the Claris one. Claris, the avid reader. You'd think she'd run out of space buying so much books. These? Of course I plan to read them all. Are you mad? Alright, Komachi. Do you have a rest? 
Just because the shop's closed for the day doesn't mean I'm done yet, Kamiyama. But anyway, Sakura's still not back yet, huh? You guys gonna be okay? She'll be back. Give her some credit. If you say so, but whether she's in the, f the fight or not, you gotta win tomorrow's match, you hear? If you lose, she ain't gonna have anywhere to come home to. Don't worry. We're not gonna lose. That's what I like to hear. Now you're saying it like the Kamiyama I know. Right. As long as you're all in, it just so happens I got a little present for you. Whoa, a bromide? I can just have this? You sure it's okay? Yep, all yours. Don't be shy now, take it. Think of it as a good luck charm. Karu and I, we're gonna be rooting for you no matter what, so if you're feeling down, it's a reminder that we're all behind you. Yui. Ew. Ew, Yui. Who's. What's this? Oh, Clarice's notebook? I'll bring it to her later, but first... Looks like this title is Sing Osana's Unto My Name. Got a real old-school, old-fashioned ring to it, let's see. Hearken unto me, Clarice de Giovanni. I am an angel of salvation and spinner of this tale. I am the knight, errant Sedro. Clarice, mine angel, I and I alone love thee true. Sedro? That, that sounds a lot like Sedro. Is this about me? Oh, Sedro... My king of kings, take me in on thine arms, plant thy kissed oath of love upon my lips, then once more upon my heaving. Whoa, yikes. I'm not finishing that sentence. It's definitely not meant to see this. No one can ever know I looked. One of Clarice's notebooks. Okay. I, don't, I guess I'll need that for later, maybe? <gasps> Sumire. Whose room is this? Oh, this is Sumire's room. Yes. It's Kamiyama. May I come in? Yes, enter. That's not her voice. Ugh. What's that you have there, Sumire? Oh, this? Just a gift from Karu. It's a folding fan commemorating the revival of the Imperial Combat Review. That's an interesting design. Yes, to say the least, I was quite compounded by Peanut 2 at first. Karu's taste has always been a bit uh, unusual, wouldn't you say, Kamiyama? Yeah, well... That's a good thing. In fact, you could say I'm a huge fan. I was worried you'd say something like that. Well, is it really that bad? It's alright, Kamiyama. I suppose in that regard, you're not unlike Kaburu yourself. Maybe a bit more like Hakushu. Ah, my apologies. You came for a reason, and all we've done is gotten sidetracked. Oh no, I didn't come for any particular reason. Indeed. Well then, I wish you best of luck tomorrow. Go get rest. Alright. Thanks, boss. Uh, and then who's here? Music room. Oh, this is probably gonna be Anastasia. She's always in there. Yep. Captain, I've been thinking about something. Huh? What is it, Anastasia? Something weighing you down? Well, not exactly. Not to sound cold, but all we'll need to defeat the London team is three members. So we'll be able to perform just fine without Sakura, though it might be worth it to revise our tactics in case he doesn't come back. Anastasia. Good thinking. Maybe we should come up with a backup strategy. But Anastasia, where's this coming from? You seem pretty certain she'd come back. Well, certainly. I still choose to believe that. But odds, are, odds like these call for more pragmatic approaches. My apologies, Captain, but I'm just being logical. Uh, Anastasia? Where'd you go? What the... It's a bunch of music scores and records. Where'd she go? The score on the music stand is for Eaten by the Wolf. Well... You know, I've never really looked around this room. Guess there's... Oh, what the... A bromide? Maria Tachibana, Fallen Love Maidens. A snapshot of Maria and Ogami's daily life. You've been awfully mischievous lately, Captain. What? They're holding hands. I think Fallen Love Maidens was like the... Th 
third game or the second game. The underground. Ooh, it's, we're gonna see. Um, what's his name? Ragey. Hey, Ragey. It's far from clean, but just about what I expect from Ragey. I'm glad the hangar isn't damaged, though. Are there any things in here I can find? You know, I was looking through the bromides um, during one of the in-betweens, and I'm missing a lot. Um, oh, this is if I want to do some missions over. I don't want to do that now. Yo, Reiji, how's it going? Hey, what's up, Sage Ro? Need some words of encouragement from your old pal, Reiji? Nah. Well, maybe a little. This will be our toughest hurdle yet, and with so much could go wrong. Alright, already. You really worry too much, man. You gotta believe in Sakura. She'll be back, and I got your back with all the mechs. Point is, everything's gonna go fine, so relax, okay? Reiji, thank you. Heh, <laughs> easy there, drama queen. Don't get all sappy on me. Anyway, isn't it past your bedtime? Go get some sleep, or you'll be useless tomorrow. Got your mechs in mint condition. All you gotta do is believe in your team and in yourself. Thanks, Reiji. What a brosif. To the bath. Who's in the bath now? <laughs> hmm, that sound came from the bath. Sounded like Anastasia. And it looks like she forgot to lock the door. Oh, man. Nope, I'm leaving. Nope, not gonna peep on her. I'm leaving. Go to the first floor. I think that's everyone. Uh. Oh wait, no, Claris and Azami. Well, all right. Let's go see Claris and then we'll see Azami because we have her. I guess it's like heart to heart or something. I don't know what the what, like they call them in this game. Hey, Clarice, I found your notebook earlier. You what? Where did you find it? You weren't going through my things, were you? No, I never do that, but you left it at the dining hall, so I picked it up. Oh, just my luck. That's the one work I never, ever wanted anyone to lay eyes upon. You, uh, you didn't read it, did you? Well, um... No, I haven't. I respect your privacy. That's a relief. It's just really a stupid, self-indulgent fantasy anyway. Certainly, the actual writing process was gratifying, but when I read my work over, it was I was utterly mortified. It's a little harsh. It's normal to imagine yourself as someone more special or attractive or powerful. I do the same thing. Reiji and I used to stay up all night thinking about what life would be like if we could get any girl we wanted. Really? Well, as long as I'm not alone in this, uh, it's a bit comforting. Thank you for saying so, Kamiyama. But... Wait, that means you read the story. How could you lie to me, Kamiyama? Burn in hell! Uh, I feel so violent, Kamiyama. If you ever find another misplaced notebook, don't look inside. God, I always fuck hers up. Like, literally every time, I'm just like, oh, I wonder what I could say. And then it's like, you got the wrong answer. Alright, let's go talk to... Is it? No, it's not that one. It's this one. May I come in, Azumi? Sure. Uh, what's her voice again? Sure. 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 Azumi, I came just like you said. <laughs> Ninja training is of paramount importance. I can't skip it, even with the match tomorrow. What exactly does ninja training involve? The contents of my dresser are not used for combat training. You are forbidden from looking, Seijiro. Right, that wouldn't be appropriate. This is for shuriken throwing practice. I practice fr throwing five simultaneously. Five at once? Throwing them is one thing, but... Accurately aiming five? 
I bet I could throw seven shurikens at once if I tried. I'm not good at the tatami flip technique yet. Doing it seven times in a row is pretty tricky. I guess there's something even she hasn't mastered yet. Wait, why would you do it so many times in a row? What's that tatami flip useful for anyhow? Hmm, what's that? Those are the manju she likes so much. She's even got seven of them, huh? Her calligraphy is excellent. Looking at the strokes of the character Nin helps me achieve inner peace and focus. I see, so she practices meditation. That's pretty sophisticated for a girl so young. So she's got the character for Nin on her wall. What sort of calligraphy would I hang in my room? The character speaks to you too, doesn't it? I can make one just like... I can make you one just like that if you want. I was just staring at it absentmindedly, but she seems so happy, so I better keep my mouth shut. Do you have a special outfit for when you're training? I have different outfits for different things. Ninja art, fashion, fast change. Whoa, you change your clothes in the blink of an eye. I can instantly change into one of several different outfits, but I'm not telling you what they are. I can see how that can come in handy, like when you're exhausted and collapse on your bed, changing into pajamas mid-fall. What sort of training do you do specifically? Dashing, jumping, creating shadow clones, making myself invisible, everything ninjas do. And she does all of that in her room? How is that even possible? Practicing tongue twisters is also vital. Ninja jamming mint jam in a jar. Well, never would have expected that. Maybe I should ask her about all the stuff in her room. So, Seijiro, how do you like my ninja training? Amazing, huh? Definitely amazing. It looks like it's all really hard to pull off. I'm impressed. Let me test to see how much you've really learned. Wait, what? A test? Ninja question one. How many shurikens do ninjas throw simultaneously when practicing? It's five. Five, no doubt about it. Correct. Well done, Seijiro. Recite the vital ninja tongue twister. Ninja jamming mint jam in a jar. I think it was ninja jamming mint jam in a jar, right? Correct, Seijiro. Well done! Last question. Where is Azami? Huh? But you're right the Mojiziku Nunjitsu! Finish! Where did she go? Uh, how am I supposed to find her? Um... Azami, there you are. Your eyes fail you. <laughs> Azami, there you are. Where am I? No one knows except me. I don't... I don't see anything. Azami, there you are. No one's ever managed to see through this technique. It's undefeated. She's behind you. I can even hear her, but I can't find any sign of her. Is she even still here? Searching for her doesn't work. I have to force her to reveal herself. Let's see. I need to think of something that she'll react to immediately and come out of hiding. I only get one try at this, so I have to be smart about what I do. 
Boy, I'm getting hungry. Just gonna help myself to some of these manju. I'm sure Azumi won't mind. Looks like she can't resist. Got you, Azumi. Oh, there she is. Found you. Ah, you don't play fair. Ah, sorry, I was getting worried I'd never find you, so I had to do something. I must admit that you outsmart me, Captain. Hmm, anyway, I think I've had enough ninja education for today. You seriously do this daily? Yes, it's very important to never miss a day of training. Wow, Azumi, you're so committed. Azumi, come over here for a minute. What is it? Oh, Seijiro. Don't stare at my hair, it's messy. That's not true. Your hair looks so healthy. <laughs> what the fuck? If, if you say so. Her cheeks look so soft. I want to give them a poke. She's looking straight at me. People say I have cold eyes. Do you think I look scary? Not at all, your eyes are kind. I can tell how nice you are just by looking at you. You're only saying that to make me feel better, but I am happy to hear it. You work so hard to be a good ninja, but even the best ninjas need to take a break sometimes. If I need a break, can we spend time together again? Like today? Of course, we can hang out together anytime you like. I'll ration it out and treat it as a reward for doing my best. She's really dedicated, always doing what she can to help out. Azami, would you like a manju? Yes. Oh, I don't know how... Open wide. Had a lot of fun with you today, Azumi. Me too. I think I like it when you compliment me like that. Don't overdo it with your training. I need you well rested for the games. Right. See you tomorrow. All right. Flowery language. Cool. I think I got that one all correct. I was also kind of like, oh, ooh. A scroll for Seijiro. Thank you, Seijiro. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I was nervous about the match, but I'm not anymore. Will anyone disband a review? Sakura must have, must have a home to come back to. Let's fight together for a review's sake. Or for a review's right to be. Azami Mochi Mochizuki. We'll fight to prove we're here to stay. Oh, I thought it was a bromied. All right, looks like it's Hatsuho's turn. Let's go. Let's go see what she's doing. No, shit. Wrong one. I already talked to Sumire. Hi, Sumire. Sorry to bug you. I didn't mean to. Please don't hate me, Sumire. I want this door. To the courtyard! Hey, you actually came out! Why wouldn't I? You asked me to, so what's up? Eh, not much. Already said in the text. Just wanted to chat, Kamiyama, that's all. Huh, wait, Kamiyama, as far as I know, you never call me by my name. Huh, guess so. Why, is, is that weird? If you don't like it, I can, I can stop. Well... 
Yeah, I like it. You can even call me Seijiro if you want. Uh, you think? Sure. Se Seijiro... Nah, never mind. It feels too weird. Eh, gotta say, it's a relief. Got kind of worried that you'd get all snooty about being dex me being disrespectful. Uh, never really been a stickler for rank. Where's this coming from, anyway? Well, you know, like you were saying earlier, we're all kind of like a family now. So I figure, hey, you don't call your family members by their job titles. Well, look, it doesn't change anything between us, okay? But, I don't know, I thought it might be kind of nice or something. You know what, never mind, I'm out. Gonna go give sleep in another shot. Well, that's everyone, I think? Oh no, Hatsuho, one more time. Let's go see Hatsuho. I, I really hope there is not a lot. Uh, Alright, sounds like the team's morale is high. Now all we're missing is Sakura herself. She'll be back in time for the match. No de-stress over it. I better get some sleep. Um, I really hope the, the, the neighbors downstairs got have a dog and are loud as hell. So I really hope that that doesn't capture on the thing. Or I'm going to have to do a lot of editing because they were they were like hammering stuff and uh, the dogs are barking loud as hell. I might have to switch to a different mic because I know this one likes to capture all the ambient sounds. But let's talk to Hatsuo one last time. Hey, who's there? It's me. Can I come in? Kamiyama? Uh, well, fine. She has the coolest room. There's like random burn marks on the wall. What do you want now, Kamiyama? You're still not done hassling me? Well... Just checking in on you. You're you're really that worried about me? Well, yeah, we got a match coming up. I need sure I need to be sure you'll be okay by the time we have to fight. Oh yeah, figures, my mistake. My mistake thinking you were actually being sensitive. Eh, don't worry about me. I'm at the top of my game, ready for anything. Tomorrow we'll be one step closer to winning the games. We're the Imperial Combat Reviews Flower Division, ain't we? So come on, get some confidence in you. We got this, man. Uh, that's our hot hope. Pack with enough fighting spirit for the whole team. I can see it now. You, me, and Sakura taking down the London Combat Review together. We're gonna do great. Enough with the brooding, Kamiyama. We're gonna win this, trust me. For a long time, I thought there it was like a it was like a dress, but their pants, they just look like a dress when they're standing, like when they have their legs closer together. I saw it with um, I saw it with Sakura, and then I see it with her, and I I, I didn't comment on it earlier, but I was just like, oh, this whole time I thought it was like a dress. Man, that was a long day. Maybe it's about time I turned in. Um, the bet is beckoning, or stay up a little longer. I'm gonna stay up a little longer, um, because I'm gonna see if I can do any koi koi and stuff off screen. But uh, when I come back, we will be, I think, at the fighting part. So that's it for this. Um, next time we'll do the fighting. I will do some off screen stuff to see if anything can help me. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, that's a wrap for this one. I will catch you next time.